What's up everyone, I'm Bettina Gozo and today I have a really fun dynamic warm up for you. Six different movements to get you prepped and ready for a strength workout or any workout. So let's go in and get started. This first move is called the fast hip rock. And fast doesn't stand for the tempo, fast actually stands for forward, angle, side, and transverse. So this knee, this foot will be going in each direction. So you're gonna keep this knee down. I want you to pretend like there's a headlight on this hip and it has to shine straight forward. We're gonna rock it forward, nice and easy, about five to six times, whatever feels good. And then we're gonna go to the angle. So still trying to keep that hip forward, we're gonna go to the side. So this is a really great way to open up the hips a little bit. We have really tight hips and we have to kind of move them in multiple planes of motion. Now we're gonna go to the side. And this is gonna be kind of hard to keep the hip forward, and that's okay. If it's really nearly impossible, just turn yourself a little bit, but try not to let yourself go too far to the side. Try to keep your chest forward as much as you can. The last one is usually the hardest one, the transverse plane. So we're gonna go back to the back corner and rock it this way. That headlight's probably not shining forward anymore, and that's totally fine. So we're gonna move through this, and then we'll go to the other side. So take it here, same thing, half kneeling forward. Nice and easy, about five to six each direction. We'll go to the side, nice and easy, and then go to the here, and then back corner, in the transverse plane. So taking it back, yep, my hips are super, super tight, so it shouldn't feel easy when you're doing this last one. All right, so this next move we're gonna work through are called hip cars, and car stands for controlled articular rotations. So I want you to think about keeping your core super tight because we're gonna be moving through our hip on this, and naturally we have really flexible lower back, so we wanna keep the core super tight when we move through this. So we're gonna hover the knee off the ground, bring the knee to our elbow, then bring it out to the side as much as we can, try not to dump all our weight on the one side, and then controlling it back and up, noticing I'm really trying to keep my core nice and stable, and then bringing it in. So nice and controlled here. I sometimes cue to hover that opposite, opposite hand off the ground so you're not shifting all of your weight to the one side. So you can also reverse this movement. And this is one of my favorite movements because it builds not only mobility, but a lot of stability. So go ahead and move to the other side. Same thing, hover that knee. We're gonna bring it up to that elbow, bring it back, control it. Try not to let that lower back move too much. And naturally, our lower backs will wanna move but just really focus on keeping the core tight. It's okay if it moves a little bit, just don't make it too much. So we'll move it to the other side, same thing, and then bring it up, control it to the side, and then bring it down. So this next move we're gonna do is a quadruped hip rock with the leg extended. So all you're gonna do is sit back into the hips, extend your hips all the way, and then bring it back. So that opposing leg should feel like you're starting to stretch a little bit more. So really focusing on extending the hip on the other side now. Now let's go ahead and move to the other side. Same thing, bring it out, set it back, extend the hip, good. So making sure once again, we're not dumping all the weight to our lower back. We wanna keep that core tight as we extend the hip forward. From here, we're gonna move into a thread the needle, opening up the T-spine a little bit. So let's bring it down. We're gonna open it up, starting to get some mobility through that upper part of our back. It usually gets pretty tight from sitting on our phones all day or our computers, so. Adding some mobility there. And then we're gonna move to an inchworm. So we're gonna press it up into a high plank. So we're gonna walk it back, bringing the arms up, and then we're gonna walk it back to a high plank. But then this time we're gonna get a little bit more and we're gonna take the foot outside the hand, take the elbow down, and then open it up. So a little more rotation through the T-spine, but more through the hip. We're gonna move through that a few times. Open it up. And if you need to drop the knee on this, it feels more comfortable, go for it. Remember, we're just warming up. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk it back into that inchworm, bring it back, reach it up nice and high. And then we're gonna do the other side, same thing. Walk it out, high plank, take the foot outside the hand, take it down, open it up. We'll move it three times here. Take it down, open it up. And then we have one more move after this. All right, let's walk it back. So now, we're gonna do a little more stability through our legs. So we're gonna take it to a lateral lunge, and then we're gonna drive the leg up. So we're firing up those stabilizers in our ankles now. Up, we'll take it a few more here. Good, two more on this side. And if you need to modify, you can always step to the side, step it here, then step it up. 
Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. Step it to the side and then drive that leg up. So this side is usually weaker for me, so it's totally fine if you want to adjust and step it to the side. Because then you, sometimes you need to fire up the ankles a little bit more, it needs a little more time, and that's totally okay. All right, last one. All right, remember you can do this before a strength workout, any sort of workout, just take your time with it and really get that body warmed up.